This is a Tanya Mullings world premiere on G987. Listen to the rest of it No see me with me one light I want me to make a mess of it Ay, Cause you no know how me cool You a ball like Lauren But if you see me as good That's why Most high How you mean when too nice You have to play it twice Pull up that one Listen to the rest of it No see me with me one light I want me to make a mess of it Ay, Cause you no know how me cool You a ball like Lauren But if you see me a sport That's why I, 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 I Will only leave my trust to the most I, I, I will be the Although sometimes I ask why I, I, I Still put no faith in me My faith I give to the most Me integrity The youth them are for proud of the legacy Plus to what me see enough for loan the rate to you If you buy a couple NEC If you not enough for them will be your enemy I know everybody I got like you That no new Me all a family when not like me So what is you? If that never fears me No if not no maybe I'm me make it this far by my point of view It's cause I, 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 I Will only leave my trust unto the most Thanks for a lie Because I see so many you die, die And try your nose to I Might not perfect but this is say I try And you give me the strength to fight So I say I Will only leave my trust unto the most My guest today is singer, songwriter, producer, social activist, band leader of the movement of Ariel, owner and operator of In the Blacks. He is a three-time Juno Award nominee, one-time Juno Award winner. He has shared the stage with reggae ambassadors, Third World, Maxi Priest, Luciano, and Itana, to name a few. Welcome to the Tanya Mulling Show here on G98.7, Kirk Diamond. <laughs> Big <Yeah>, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, most high. I, I, I. Not bad. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like. <laughs> no, me not like it. Me love it. 
Yeah, it was one of those songs. It's been in the works for a while. Yes. I think we wrote it in Jamaica in 2019. Okay. And then we just brought it to life. No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it dropped yesterday, right? Yeah, it's my just his birthday. Oh, nice. And it's available on all platforms. Make you... St- Support the music, people. You know, we don't have a freeness thing and email it to me and all these things. Go buy the music, support the artist. We need that in this COVID time, right? Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. Support, even when it's not COVID, we still need the support. Yes, always. And, you know, <laughs> underneath here, we got Greater going on. That's the Juno Award winning track from Kirk Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> That's the EP. Yeah, that was the one that kind of made Toronto and, you know, surrounding areas know who I was. Yes. Yeah, greater. And he is greater. And I mean, I know Kirk and I might be just saying this, you know, no favoritism here or that. But honest to God, Kirk Diamond is a gem and he represents Canada on top of the game. And I mean, I've seen him perform, do his thing. He's been doing it a while and you bring... A performance when you perform. And a lot of people don't have the whole package like you do. Yeah, well, I mean, being here, I watch a lot of the Canadian greats, you know what yes. I mean? Like, me and you had this discussion already. Yes. Like, I watch... I can and, say and, some of them. Yeah, Steel. Steel. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me and Steel went to Calgary. Our Lena man when yes. me and Len go to England. Like oh, 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 we have to stop with that one there. You know, <laughs> ladies, just so you know, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm staying in my lane and everything, but ladies, at Kirk Diamond, go follow him. If you don't know him, he is not sore on the eyes, ladies. He is. <laughs> what does Len say? <laughs> they went to England, and he says you are a sex symbol. <laughs> no, it's Len. <laughs> Len, Len Hammond, oh my gosh, you know. But so it goes, it comes with the territory, you know. You got fans, you don't have fans, you have AC, that's how you do it. But you know what, I'm making jokes and everything. All that put aside, you are very humble. You are where you are because you are humble. But you, st- you. you started a long time, you started as a DJ. Yeah. Right? And then dancing. And then dancing, that's where the performance comes in, the right. dancer. You performed in Mexico, Germany, UK, and Jamaica, and all throughout Canada. Yeah. With the band. Yeah, the movement. Yes, the movement of Ariel. And how many shows did you do before COVID got locked down? There was a lot of them. Um, before COVID, well, just in 2018 alone, we did 72. Yeah. Yeah, just in 2018 alone. Like, we didn't have a break at all. It was three to four shows a week. And it was... It was fun, you know what I mean? We never really experienced it like that before. Like, we are going literally from wishing to be on shows to can't take any more shows. <laughs> so now that, okay, you had your little rest, and now when them fly, they get trouble. About 80 shows coming at you. I hope so. Yeah. Because we miss it. You know I know. I mean? It's funny how we take things for granted, and then when it's gone, it's like, wow, you know. Yes. You got nominated again, 2015, Loving a We Heart with Bob the Builder. That was your first, you know, nomination. Mm-hmm. Then didn't take you too long after you took home the 2017 for EP Greater. You won that year. And this year, Let It Be Done. Yeah, You're up for that Juno you know, Award as well. But what I love about that, the video shot in Uganda. That's big. Yeah, I felt like it was necessary. To, to, to display a place where people feel like, you know what I mean, if you look at TV, it shows Africa in a negative light. And as much as these people, and we know it as, as being Jamaicans as well, you know what I mean, like if you go in the ghetto or places where you feel like people are impoverished, then they're still smiling, they're still partying, they're yep. still, you know what I mean, but then... You're here now, like in Canada, where they consider a first world country, and there's so much people going through mental health issues and, and all these things, you know what I mean? And it's not to knock people that go through these things, but it just shows you how the perspective is different, you know what I mean, for different people. Like yes. We're still able to smile and laugh and enjoy ourselves when our situation to society is not a good one. You know? yes. So I wanted to show it. From grassroots, which is Africa. You know what I mean? And I just had the opportunity to shoot it in Uganda. 
That's so nice. And I like, I know you weren't able to go there due to the situation, right. but what you're saying right there, and I think COVID has taught a lot of us that, that we just need the simple things in life. We don't need a lot of things, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, even in the second verse of Let It Be Done, it, it tells you that outside things don't make you happy on the inside. Yep. You know what I mean? So you have to work, literally work on yourself first. What is most important to you? Where do you find peace? Yes. You know what I mean? For me, it's music and helping people through music. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And your style is very versatile. Of course, it's reggae, but you do dance all reggae and roots. Yeah. You know, so you're very versatile, even though, like I say, it's reggae. People don't understand. That's like different genres, which puts you on stages with artists outside of the reggae genre. I find that you're getting on a lot of shows like that. They're embracing you almost like I would say like Morgan Heritage got on those bigger stage with the, all the other genres of music mixing up in the festivals right. you're able to get on. I mean, with with us, with our community, I should say. Yes. Like when like I started to doing shows and stuff like that, I wasn't getting the bookings from our community. It you was, have to go outside. I had to go outside. You Isn't that I mean? so always like we the were complaint? Doing, we were doing rock and roll festivals before anybody in our community knew who I was. Yes, that's what, you know I, know mean, what I mean. And, uh, you... it's, it's just one. And I, I don't have a problem with that either because if you look, remember Bob Marley, you open for Slander uh, and the Family Stones and Peter Tash opened for Rolling Stones and Black Hero opened for, I believe, Rush or you, The Who or something like that. Do you hear what you're saying? That's my point. That yeah. means Kirk Diamond is going to be at them levels there. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, God will. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will. You will. Because that's why I'm saying those are the people that were on those versatile shows and got to the level they are because the versatility. Um, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Who would you like to work with, whether it's a producer, collaborate with the artist, anything like that? Locally or... Anywhere. <sighs> wow. <laughs> um... Maybe Steven Raga. You know what? I was just talking about that. Every time I ask somebody, they say Steven Marley. Yeah, man. Yeah, everybody. Everybody says him because anything he puts his hand on turns to gold. And people don't realize, a lot of people don't realize how much he does in the background. Right. In the industry. Even though he's a Marley and that. He, he does a lot of work with artists out there and has done made them come to the forefront uh, of his production even again. Back to Morgan Heritage, they worked with, I'll show an example, Jay Boog and Stephen Marley. They got them together to work with Jay Boog and Stephen Marley. And Peter Morgan sat back and goes, you know what? All these years we know Stephen, we're like family. And he's never produced a Morgan Heritage album. They said they want to make that happen. Right. You know, so it's just funny how everybody I interview is aimed at Stephen Marley. No, it's just there's something about his production that is yes. different. Like you, yes. you feel it. Yes. Uh, you know and I mean? you know... You know, we talked about this. I had Joe Mercer Marley on, and Stephen Marley is his father. Yeah, right. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. maybe a collab with Joe Mercer Marley would be even sweet, produced by Stephen Marley. That would be fire, of course. Yeah. Yes. So you got a brand new song coming out, Mark and Gem Busted, this week. August 5th, it drops. Talk a little bit about that one. It's actually a full EP. Oh, it's a EP. It's a full EP. Oh, I thought this was just a single. My bad. Well, it's a single now. A single to the upcoming EP. <laughs> to the upcoming EP. Okay. Yeah. So this EP is with me and Shane Amani. All right. And how this came about is that I felt as if... Well, not felt. I've never seen two artists from Canada collaborate on a project before. Okay. You know what I mean? And Shane being an artist that we've always... We've been speaking about working together for years. You know? And then... This just happened to be the right time. Okay. You know, and then with everything, with the Junos and everything. And to be honest with you, it is just a, a way for me to try to help to build the Canadian industry where reggae is concerned because one block alone can't build a house. And and what did you say? One block alone? Yeah. In the block. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, in the block is kind of the same type of idea where... In the Black is a space where musicians and artists and other creatives can come there and, you know, express their 
creativity. I don't even care if you paint. If you want paint, we put music behind it and it goes out. Yes. You know what I mean? And then along with Stretch, we put together a, a Saturday night, kind of like an open mic thing where we bring artists from all over the city nice to come in and they just jam with live music full band and everything nice you know what i mean and this is the fourth week yeah this is the fourth week and at one point we had to, we didn't know what to do because it's like covid and you know restrictions and there's 60 people lining up to get inside so it's like <laughs> yeah do it <laughs> you know what i mean so now it's just strictly by guest list okay you know, so um, thank you for putting a platform there for upcoming artists. I want them to. Where do they follow you on social media? Um, you can follow in the black um, for the space, which is I N T H E B L V C K. Yeah. And yourself? And myself is Kurt Diamond. Yes, and of course, I want you to intro the brand new song. But before we go, you're not going nowhere. You're gonna stick here with me. Right? Same, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, I'll be just forcing to stay with me for the rest of the day. Yes. Give me the intro to the brand new track. Well, this one is myself, Kurt Diamond, alongside Shane Armani, where it's on power. <laughs> Sight around the sound. I chant microphone, the powers from the word sound. I wake up the town, cause Babylon now fall down. Yeah, Babylon now fall down. Hey, come from them sight around the sound. I chant microphone, the powers from the word sound. I wake up the town, cause Babylon now fall down. Yeah, Babylon now fall down. But first your mind it have to be free So turn off the TV You see them bring them whips and shackles and chains And still can't beat we And not go on like they don't know So from we bury you see that tree go have to grow And rest on us slack off and we never back off a toe to toe And yesterday prepare a tree for tomorrow them school can't trickle with Peter Town or FIFA folk from Now you see them can't run with spirit No move off a white drum Them a lap on it because them feel like we a bring the fight from What them a do when the night done Marcus left he look to the east and find the last sea That's why we day around the sound I chant microphone the powers from the word sound I wake up the town cause Babylon no fall down Fall down, fall down Yeah Babylon no fall down Hey, come from them sight around the sound I chant microphone, the powers from the word sound I wake up, chat on, come Babylon and fall down. Fall, down, fall down Yeah, Babylon and fall down We are known fighters, sounds chanter We are the light bearer This is Somali the king, a legend of fire within you got to be weak, sane, enlighten the brain, prepare for change I'm strapped with the message, the reason we're taking the aim It's cause I hear them talking, talking Now stop, keep the fire burning, boy Slowly the tables are turning, boy, boy. So keep your eyes open, my friends And keep on fighting to the end But from them sight around the sound I chant microphone, the powers from the word sound I wake up the town, cause Babylon now fall down Yeah, Babylon now fall down Hey, cause from them sight around the sound I chant microphone, the powers from the word sound I wake up the town, cause Babylon now fall down Yeah, Babylon now fall down Number one with black music, G987.